So what are the design uh, problems of the system as we have it? What's wrong with the system? First of all, all money is created as debt. The banks decide the first use of that money and decide the quantity of that money based on their own individual assessment of the health of the economy and their profit motive. So they tend to create too much in the good times and not enough in the bad times. But this is the biggest problem that a lot of people have not really thought about. When you borrow half a million dollar for your mortgage, half a million dollar in electronic money enters the system. You, on the other hand, have to return to the bank more than $500,000. By the time you factor in all the interests over 30 years, it might be a million dollars. So no one within this system creates the money to repay the interest associated with the loans that generate the money in the first place. This creates the scarcity of money within the system. It is mathematical that somebody will default on their debt obligations because there isn't enough money in circulation to pay all the debts that are created when money is issued. That is really a fundamental problem of the money system. And you can see now, even at the national level, when kind of uh, governments step in and take on the debt, Greece, uh, Puerto Rico, and so on, eventually they also crash. Because there, there is more debt out there than money to pay for it. This also drives us to continuous growth. Because if you can pretend that the economy is bigger next year than this year, you can borrow more and you need to do so to repay the principal and the interest for which no money was ever created. This also drives environmental destruction, if you think about that. If you're a farmer, you can meet your quota, your debt, you maybe cut the forest if you have a forest and try to monetize that. So a lot of the environmental destruction, the drive towards economic growth is driven by this very little flaw in the design system of our money system. The private banking sector has effectively the monopoly on money creation. It is really a government function, and it's now completely in the hands of the private sector. 97, 98% of the money is created that way. Now, what is the problem? The government, when it doesn't have enough taxes to pay for the services, it has to borrow. Who does it borrow money from? Primarily the private banking sector that can create the electronic money to buy those securities or the people that have a lot of money already. And if you think about that, if all our money is created as debt, we are paying interest on our money supply every year. That is a tax on the productive economy that takes money from the general public and gives it to either the people that can create the money, the banking sector, or the people that already have a lot of money and can lend it. That is what makes the increase in wealth, inequality in this country, a mathematical certainty. 